Okay, welcome everybody. So my name is Dominic Konklevich. I want to kind of go over some different types of, uh, you know, materials we can make in the home with some stuff that you might have around the house. So a couple of things we're going to try to make is some slime and some bouncy balls, actually from the same ingredients, which is going to be some clear glue, some borax powder, and also some water just to make it a little bit more slimy in one case. All right, so what's going to happen is we're going to Put in some clear glue into both of these containers and then we're going to actually link those molecules together with some borax right so we're going to make something a bit like a big molecular scale spider web with the borax okay so what we're going to do is we're first of all going to prep a little borax solution so you don't really need much so we just poured some borax into this here just kind of the edge of a spoon here is plenty i'm going to pop that in here and we're going to Add some water on top of that just to make a kind of um, solution of the borax. Okay, we just stir it up maybe five, ten seconds like this, should be plenty. All right, okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make two different types of um, what we call polymer networks, right? So these are going to be different types of materials. One's going to be a bit bouncier, and this is what you might see in a bouncy ball, you make something a bit like that. The other one's going to be a bit slimier. In both cases, what we're going to do is take about one spoon full of um, clear glue. We're using Elmer's here, but really any clear glue will work. So one spoonful of glue into each of these here. Okay. If you want to make a bigger bowl, you can put two spoons of glue in. Okay. So what's going to happen is we see that this glue here flows pretty freely right it's viscous but it definitely flows like we can see here it falls off a spoon relatively easily so what we're going to do next is to this one here which we have labeled as no water okay we're just going to take some of the powder directly okay we're just going to put a little bit of powder just the end of a spoon like this is more than enough Okay, we're just going to drop this right in here. Okay, and then we're going to give it a bit of a mix here. And we should see it pretty quickly coming together into a pretty uh, firm ball here. Okay, it shouldn't take too long. And what's happening is we're mixing the borax into the glue is the actual borax is linking all the little pieces of glue together. And what we're getting is a big molecule. So the glue is like sort of a long molecule, a bit like sort of a chain. And then we actually link those chains together. And after a little bit of mixing, we get something that looks a little bit like this here. And should bounce pretty easily. If we want a bit more bounce, what we can do is put a touch more borax powder in. Okay. And we should actually find that it gets even bouncier. So the more borax we put in, the more we link the glue together, we get a firmer and bouncy material the more borax we put in. Okay, so just roll it up in our hands. Okay, and we should have a relatively ball-like structure, which bounces off the table pretty easily here. Now, for the one which we have labeled here with plus H2O, we're actually using a bit of that borax solution that we made a couple of minutes ago. So just kind of, you know, a little bit less than a spoonful. For every one spoon of glue, I can pour that in here. Okay, and then we can mix this up. And again, we should see it getting thicker and thicker, but hopefully what we'll see is that unlike our bouncy ball, this one here should be more sort of slime-like rather than bouncy ball-like. So it's gonna kind of Hang on to the spoon, but if we pick it up, it's going to have a real slime-like consistency here. And what's actually really cool about this is even if we break it up, it'll actually come back together into a single piece. So that's kind of one of the cool things about these slimes, is the bonds we make between the borax part and the glue part are reversible. So we can actually put them back together into a bigger structure. Cool. So. Lots of fun stuff here. So this one here, as we can see, is more sort of goo-like and less bouncy-like. Whereas our ball-like here, which was made with just um, borax powder and glue, 
definitely bounces quite well. All right. Thanks a lot, then. See you later, all.